In my last video, I gave you one major tip to improve a chest if you are below 2k elo, yeah? If you didn't watch it yet, just go watch it and then come back in this video because this video is going to be for black colors. So I'm going to go straight into analysis. So let's go here and I'm going to show you how should you should play this. So uh, let's imagine he plays c4. Okay, the, the, the opening is really, really simple. It's c6, d6, e5, queen c7, knight f6, bishop to e7, castle, and bishop to g4. If he play h3 before you play that, you cannot play bishop to g4. So you, you got to keep the bishop here and maybe you got to play knight to b7 and b6 and bishop to b7. But if he doesn't play h3, you can simply play this and the knight will be here. So if he... Uh, chase your bishop like this you can either take but I recommend to go on g5 and then g6 but uh, okay the same the system is quite simple it's just this rook e8 and you play maybe with b5 maybe with d5 someday uh, rook here and d5 bishop to f8 to maybe play e4 someday maybe play knight here knight here you got a lot of uh, plans you know a lot of ideas and it's gonna um, depend on what kind of position it is you know so i'm gonna show you some games that i played uh days ago okay here you can see my latest games so let's take a game with black colors so i've been playing this opening uh, since i don't know like uh two weeks ago something like that and i have really really good uh, results with it okay because i will show you right now what of what i was playing with black colors so i was playing the sicilian okay siciliano uh, sicilian can but you got a lot of um annoying responses with white colors like they can play takes and not go into the theory they can play queen takes d4 they can play c3 so this is annoying and even before that on um e4 c5 they, they are not forced to play knight f3 a lot of time i encounter this move this is so annoying okay uh, this is so annoying the smith gambimora is quite annoying and g3 is quite annoying so that's why i uh, choose to go uh, with my simple opening that i will show you so uh, i'm going to show you the opening right now uh, let's go on home let's take uh, this game against a national master okay i'm going to show you let's go Okay, e4, so I played c6, he thinks he thinks that I'm going to go with the Karakan, but I'm not. I'm going to play just d6, okay, here, queen c7, no, e5 first, okay, f4, this, here he's attacking this two times, so I need to play queen c7, okay, here, castle, bishop to e7 to prepare the castling on the king side, here d4, and here bishop to g4 to pin this knight, so he cannot take, take everything here, okay, so uh, here he took, took, took and here i simply took here so that i can retake with my queen and then i can have some uh, queen to d4 takes here or queen to c5 takes here so he played this this is i think a tactical mistake because uh, he's not winning as he thought he will be winning you know so uh, i played check and then uh, took the queen here uh, he took here 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 i i, I took the queen and here I just have a better position, I think, yeah. So if you count material, I got uh, five pieces, he got three pieces, and maybe he can regain that piece, but uh, that's not, yeah, this is, yeah, yeah, this is just completely winning for me, so I just won here by bishop takes g2, checkmate, okay. So this was not an, an interesting game because I just won because of his tactical mistake. So let's see here if I have a game that I can show you. Um, maybe this one, yeah. This one in uh, rapid, rapid against the 2k elo, yeah. So let's go here. E4. Okay, E4, C6, D5, D6, same thing. Queen C7, and I'm gonna play with E5. Okay, E5 here, here. Um, developing simply and preparing to castle on the king side. Knight to E2, why not? Here I'm just developing. I cannot play bishop to G4, so I have to play this. Um, bishop to E6, I don't think that's a good move. It might be a good move, but I'm scared of uh, c4, d5, and uh, the, the, the ship is quite trapped. So I'd rather play something like that, and uh, b6, bishop to b7, and d5, you know. So here, I'm not castling straight away, because I want to wait 
for my opponents to decide which way he's gonna castle. If he castles queenside, I might uh, attack him and keep my king in the center. If he castles this, I might go castle queenside and attack him, you know. So this is really interesting to not castle as uh, soon as possible, okay. So I know you may uh, have heard this advice, oh, you should castle ASAP as soon as possible. But sometimes you need to wait, wait for your uh, opponents to make a decision and then you can react to that, okay? So here, queen to d2, knight f8, okay, the plan is simply to free this bishop and maybe jump with this knight on g6 or e6 and on d5 I can jump on c5 and have a really active knight. Okay, here c4, knight to g6 to go on the queen, I mean king side, d5, bishop to d7, okay, here a4, a5, okay, preparing to go uh, attacking his uh, queen side, you know, and if a5 is interesting because it's stopping this pawn to go on b4 and it's stopping uh, the, the the b4 to attack this knight. So a5 is, I think it's pretty good, but it's weakening the b6 square. So maybe he can exploit it by playing this because I don't have knight to d7 straight away. So I think uh, it's not that good, is it? But maybe on here I can play c5 and lock everything here and maybe after that I can play knight h5, castle and f5 and play on the king side. Okay, anyways, he play on the king side, so g4, I simply goes back so that I can put my knight here. Okay, I put my knight here, 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 and I'm not bothered by this uh, attack because uh, I think he's weakening his king side and he doesn't have that much because my king is not on g8, okay? So here, h6, I just, I'm just pushing, you know, uh, a4, I put my knight on c5, so you you saw that my knight went, um, I think, from here, here, he went here, here, no, this one just went, okay, this one is this one, so he went here, 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 to, uh, to, to have a better square, you know, because on f6, he's not doing that much, so on c5, is a really good square, so he got to take, but when he, when he takes my bishop, I mean my knight, he lost the bishop pair, and he lost his good bishop, now he's just with a bad bishop that is completely locked, okay, by his own pawns, okay, so just takes, king to f2, okay, connecting the rooks, okay, queen to d8, I want to go now on the, this uh, dark squares, okay, this, this, f4, here, here, and this is, uh, you know, just, uh, I'm just doing uh, something here, I'm just playing on the dark squares, bringing my pieces, I'm trying to bring my rooks, maybe, so yeah, okay, we can, I'm sorry, we can uh, review the game pretty fastly, up, 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 and I won this pretty easily, okay, okay, and this is completely winning because I'm a piece up and uh, my rooks are too good here. I'm going to attack this pawn and everything, you know. So he resigned here. Maybe I have another game that I can show you that I played uh, recently. This is with white color. Let me go here. Look at my dubs, man. I just keep winning. Uh, let's see. Black, black. Okay, I think I got this one. Okay, let me see this one. Okay. So e4 and c6. Once again, d6. Um, it's pretty simple. E5. I always play the same, uh, the same thing. You know, Queen C7, A5. Okay, okay. Here I didn't play Queen C7 because I don't need to play it because there is no pressure on the E5 pawn. Uh, I simply just uh, play with the D5. Okay, took took, and here I have a great center. Okay, and developing the pieces. Queen D6 to defend this pawn. Okay. 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 Here, this is a really weak pawn. So I took this pawn, I took this pawn, trade queens, and uh, I don't know why he resigned here. Oh, I think he lost some time because he got disconnected. So yeah, it's not this, this game is not good. Let me let me show you another one. Let me show you another one. Maybe this one. Yeah. Yeah. Let me show you this one. Oh no, this one I played normally. The the. the what I play normally against d4, what I play, I can show you what I play normally against d4 is to play c5, the old Benoni, and uh, on e, I play e5, if he takes here, uh, this is not as good as you may think, I, I can simply recapture with the f pawn and then knight f6 and d5 someday, and uh, I have the f file open, so I can play castle and then put pressure on the f file, okay? So here, he played uh, c4 here, my plan is just to play 
this uh, kind of stone wall, uh, castle, play knight e8, g6, knight g7, and f5. Simple as that. Yeah, this is what I played. And uh, either I play b5 or f5, but here he got a lot of uh, pieces on f5, so I just uh, wins for b5. And uh, I think I won this pretty, pretty easily, you know? Yeah, yeah, I won by uh, tactics, you know. So uh, just to show you that you don't need to be that good in openings, you just need to have a solid opening and then you can simply outplay your opponents in the uh, mid game. All right, uh, I think we can go for a blitz so that I can show you in practice what this uh, opening, uh, how can I play this opening? Fine, I, I play with the black color. So let's play c6, d6, let's go queen c7. Let's go. I don't think I can play e5 straight away, so maybe I gotta play this. But I want to play bishop to g4 first. Okay, now I play this because if I played this uh, first, my bishop would be locked. So I, here I can play e5 and takes. And let's go knight f6. And here I can maybe play this and this to attack the queen. Okay, here I can play this, he can take, take, and take here, but I can take here, he can take here. So this is not that good, is it? Um, bishop to g6, take, six. On bishop takes, I'm not forced to take, am I? I don't know. Okay, let me think. Um, maybe I can play bishop takes, this takes, and take with the pawn. Alright, we can do that. Let me take with the pawn and then I can play bishop here to have a really good diagonals. And this bishop is quite uh, locked. I can play knight c5, I guess, to attack this pawn on bishop to d3. I simply can make maybe rook here or just capture, you know. Um, uh, capture takes this, or maybe castle. Maybe castle, yeah, it's castle attacking this. He castled, wow. I can play maybe bishop here. Okay, let's play this. And um, what can I do here in this position? In this position, I think I can maybe move my king, but I'm not, uh, there is no threats. So maybe I can double up my pieces like this and this. All right, let's double here, attacking this. And I think I'll be just fine. Can maybe play bishop to c4, but I can trade and take on e4. Well, I think right here I'm slightly better. I don't know. Let me sip my coffee. Hmm. Very great coffee. <laughs> All right, just play, man. This guy is from France, just uh, like me. Vive la France. All right. So here you saw that we have a pretty good position, pretty active, everything is playing well, everything is safe, everything is good. And uh, I didn't even uh, knew the opening by heart or, uh, okay, on d4 you gotta play this, on f3, just the simple ideas, the simple plans, and then um, we have a good position. Okay, let's take here, check, and then on text I can play bishop takes e4, and this is completely winning. Alright, let's take this, I think, and on text I can simply take with the queen. So yeah, he resigns. I'm not going to rematch, obviously. But yeah, let's see the game review. Let's see the game review. And I think we'll have a pretty good game. 87.5 accuracy. So here, boom, 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 boom. This is quite good. Okay, bishop to g4 was not the best move. But anyways, okay. e5 was not good. Really? It's a mistake. You're going to end up losing a pawn. Oh, let me see. <laughs> let me see the variations. Let's go analysis. Okay, e5 is a mistake because on d takes, D takes, knight takes, knight takes, and queen e4, okay, 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 I missed that, but okay, anyways, <laughs> I missed it, okay, e5, okay, that's not the, the, what he played, let me see, what's going on? Oh, this is uh, laggy, isn't it? Okay, bishop to g4, on e5 he didn't took, he played the... Uh, he played bishop to g3, where is it? Yeah, he played bishop to g3. Okay, this. Yeah, this, this, this. Okay, e4. 
nice c5 okay good castle is good okay this is good this is good uh this is not good rook takes d3 was better oh yeah 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 rook takes on rook takes you can, i think you can play bishop takes okay okay anyways okay here and here this is just winning okay fine i think uh, this is the end of this video i hope you appreciate it and uh, let me know in the in the comment section what kind of future video you want to to watch i think we may go on the route of uh, the mid game because uh, i don't like openings and uh, i think they are useless at uh, below a certain point and uh, in games i don't think i'm a master at it so uh, i'm not um, i don't want to teach you something i'm not mastering so the next videos will be about the mid game how to play the mid game tactically strategically positionally everything so yeah i hope you like this don't forget to subscribe hit the bell and uh, hit the thumbs up and uh, see you guys in the next one Mwah.